rubbing bananas into my face. So, um, yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? So what happened was I was following a lady who's um, a little bit younger than me, but she kept showing these uh, pictures of herself a year ago compared to now and the things she's been doing uh, to um, improve her skin. And one of the things that she does, it's all about natural skincare. And one of the things she does is she uses a banana skin and rubs it on her face and then she puts castor oil underneath her eyes with some cucumber slices and she sort of sits there for 10 15 minutes and um so i decided tiktok loves a journey okay so if you're on day one of a journey you can do a video and say right i'm so i went on i did i did look awful my skin was looking terrible at the time um and uh, I had no makeup on and I was just sat there in my dressing gown um, <laughs> and I went right and I started rubbing this banana on my face. I went right, I've been following this lady uh, and this is what she suggests. So I'm going to try and change my 44 year old skin and see how it goes. Um, and that video got uh, one point, I think it's a 1.2 million views at the moment. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I did. I did. I did lots of follow up videos about it and things that were working, weren't working. So there are things that she suggested this lady that I tried that didn't work for me. So I went on and I was quite honest about this works. This doesn't. Um, I found this that does work and that 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 doesn't. Um, and um, so, yes, it was one of those follow ups. Um, but although it, it only I say only this is still really good, it got to about 100,000 views, I think but it was a comparing my before and after. So it's about a week on. It didn't take long for it to make an, have an effect on my skin. And then um, the sun picked up on it and, and chucked it in their online paper, which was fun. All of a sudden my phone lit up and I got a flurry of messages from my friends who had seen, seen me on there. Um, I didn't particularly get any more followers or anything like that from it. Um, I was a little bit annoyed that they just took the content without asking me. Um, I'm very fortunate that I'm part of an agency and I asked the agency if they could help out and they contacted the Sun for me. So I got, in the end, I got paid 120 quid for it, which, you know, it's it's not it's not the thousands I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah, it was good. And what I'm really grateful for is it was an article that didn't have access to comments. Uh, there were no, there was no, no one could leave a comment because God knows, I know the comments on my TikTok were bad enough. So I just didn't want to see what people who read The Sun um, would say. How do, you, so, how do you deal with that? Because that is something that obviously if, if you are, if you have that many followers and then your videos are getting that many views, obviously there are going to be the trolls out there that are, are not going to be yeah. very nice. How do you cope with that? Yeah. I, I like to use the trolls to my advantage uh, when I feel like it. So one of the that that one where I was doing the banana peel, someone I because obviously I'm saying I'm a 44 and someone in my comments said, you look like you're in your 60s. Yeah. Um, so um, I decided without referring to the comment, I what you can do on TikTok is you can do a video reply to a comment. So I did a video reply. So that little comment was up in the corner of my video. And I just started talking about something to do with my skincare. I didn't reference this comment at all. I just left it up there. And my God, that person got absolutely roasted. Because what you what people can do is go back to that comment and reply to it. Yeah. And the amount of people that were like, she doesn't look like she's in her 60s. There were some really backhanded comments that were like, she doesn't look like she's in her 60s. She doesn't look 44 either. She's definitely, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks. Um, you know, have to be pretty thick skin though, don't you? I, you? I think what helps me is to realise that when someone is commenting something negative about someone else, it is very much a reflection of them and not you. 